Today we are going to figure out how hard it is to breathe tarantulas from the Psalopeus genus. And the main actor in this video is this handsome Psalopeus Cambrigay mature male. You see he is the fluffy guy but you will see him better once I get him out of this plastic enclosure while here is the female. And the reason why I said that male is actually the, the main actor of today's video and not this female it is because male's life is you know on the line with every breathing with every sexy time he is risking his life so even though the success of breathing greatly depends on the acceptance of the female of that male oops <laughs> i would still say that male got a greater responsibility so let's check the guy out I will remove the cork bark. I think that he's actually on the substrate. Yeah, he's down there. <laughs> and it seems like we will actually need to pull him outside or maybe, hmm, maybe he will go out on his own. You see, oh, the guy's already on the move. Whoa, hello, hello. Well, Psalopeus genus comes from uh, South, F South America and they are new world. I still don't want to handle these guys because they actually feel a bit bitey so I don't want to risk having them on my hand and also their venom even though new world it is still a bit stronger than regular new world tarantula so the guy is already entering females enclosure you see and now when since he's fully stretched you see that his size is actually quite decent yeah he didn't look that huge at first I can remove his enclosure and let's see your drumming skills buddy but you don't see any reactions from her for now at least I'm pretty sure that they can feel each other's presence but it seems like the guy is now on the wrong path you need to turn away buddy turn on the other side but for now I will let him do his own thing he can even go outside if he wants uh, and if I feel the need to intervene, I will intervene later on. And yeah, as I stated in the beginning of this video, uh, this will be the first time of me trying to breed, trying to pair uh, two Psalopeus tarantulas. So I don't really know how females are tolerated of the males. I don't really know that. We are going to find out together. Is she still on the same spot? Yeah, she is, but it seems that the male is slightly vibrating periodically. Still not uh, drumming for real, but slightly sending some sort of signals. Let me set up the tripod, and then while we, as we wait, I'm going to read you some uh, Psalmpeus Cambrigue facts. Because honestly, I don't know much about them. Hmm. See, male is turning, that is really nice. I'm glad that he's not going outside. Hey man, well, just as I said that he's not going outside, he decided to actually go outside. Dude, I just complimented you. So what can Tarantopedia say to us about Psalmpeus Cambrigue? They come from hmm, interesting country. The country name is Trinidad. And actually, I know where that country is because I got the label right under the enclosure. You see, that is the reason why I know where that country actually is. But if I didn't have that label, if I didn't make that label, I wouldn't have any idea where it is. So it is in South America and it is some really, really small country. But here is an interesting fact. Uh, it was originally described in 1895, so really, really far away. And hey, dude, maybe he will make the circle around the enclosure. I will let him do that. Or he will actually go down. Who knows? I need to keep my eye on him. And look, he's doing something with his fangs. Hmm. Yeah, you see, he's vibrating. Yeah, but buddy, you are on the wrong side. Completely wrong side. Okay, but let's get back to this. And if I understand this correctly, originally it was described in 1895 as Psalm Cambrigue. Then it was changed in 1896, or maybe also described, the same species was described twice as Santaremina longipes, and then again as Psalpeus Cambrigue in 1898, in 1987, 89, 94, 97, 2000, 2003, twice, and 2006. I don't really know 
why there, there is so many years. Usually there is just one year where when Tarantula species was described originally, but I don't really understand that. I'm pretty sure that someone will explain that to me in the comments. So what else we got about it? Hmm, nothing much and oh ho. Oh ho, we got some action. The guy is once again on the move and this time he's moving in the right direction. So yeah, let's keep an eye on that. Oh, come on, dude. You know that the girl is around, but you cannot figure out where exactly, right? <laughs> poor guy, poor, poor guy. But you know what? I believe in you. I'm pretty sure that you will find your way. Whoa, the fluffiness is incredible. Oh, I want to, to record this with macro lens so we can get a bit closer. Whoa, look at this leg. Isn't this a sight to see? This is so crazy. <laughs> and the actual leg looks so tiny in comparison to the rest of the fluff. Pretty cool. You see how it got that yellow marking, that yellow thing on the leg. Check out the female also got it. You see? But she doesn't have all the fluff that the guy got. Yeah, but still that yellow that yellow marking is present also on the on the paw and on the other paw. And on the other paw, pretty cool. Now back to regular lens and ooh, the female actually moved. <laughs> Is she sensing something? Oh, maybe I should intervene and try to guide the male on the right path. <laughs> oh, don't get this too, don't get too excited, my man. Oh, look at her. She's also interested, but I hope not in eating him. I still didn't see that she is drumming, so I'm a bit skeptical, but okay, one thing at a time. Oh, once again you're going wrong. Dude, here. Yes. I'm slowly luring him. Girl, give some signals. Go, go. Oh, he's now going. Oh, dude, you are so bad at this. <laughs> they are getting closer now. Oh. Please stop. Oh. All right, I think that was the test. This is kind of awkward position now, but I think that it is all right. Yeah, she would, she would eat him already if she wanted. And... Looks like this is going down. <laughs> and excellent, right here on the open, once again. Mm, nice. What man, what are you waiting for? Are you afraid? Look, he's doing something to his bulbs with his fangs. <laughs> She's like, come, come, come and get me. I am all yours, right here, right now. I think that it is time to queue up the sexy time music. Oh yeah, let's go. I mean that quickly, really? Or are you going in for a round two? Yeah, it still looks like he is he's not backing off, so I think that he will go once again. But you see how each tarantula species got its own thing. For example, if you look at the the last sexy time with uh, Caribena versicolor, 
That thing lasted for a really really long time. The male was under the female for a long time while here it seems that the male just goes in, you see? And after a few seconds tries to get away or not. Still there. Oh, there he goes. And I think that's it. You see he's now backing off. He's not spending too much time under the female. It seems like he is quick and precise. Or is he preparing once again? Mm, don't test her patience. You know how that that can turn out too. <laughs> Better do our business quickly while she's still eager to eager to accept you. Look how he was holding her with his front legs. Like really really strongly okay are you done man or still you still are going once again i just hope he doesn't outstay his welcome you need to know when to quit buddy mm -hmm. oh those things are always so okay it looks like he's not or he's not still not backing off what the? And she's still chill. What is this? stopped counting how many attempts did the guy had but it seems now he's finally backing off so I will I will actually try to remove the female okay. try to get the male out there I go there we go buddy you did a great job excellent and also you were so kind i was actually kind of afraid for him because he went for far too many times inside and i thought that she will lose and then she will lose patience like if you remember when i was when i was pairing the hilobrahi species vietnam blue the male went in four times and fourth time was rip look now he is again messing with his petty pops with his bobs so i'm hoping that this was successful yeah, after so many attempts it, it has to be successful taking his cork bark and get him inside whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa dude now don't go on my hand and, uh, it seems that this is a bit harder task to do man come on stop it's barely barely and she is also walking around checking out where is her lover I'm satisfied because I think that this went really good. I think that this went well. Maybe later, once he makes uh, another spoon web, I will uh, let him to go to have another go. But for now, I think that that was all right. Uh, before we end the video, I have two things here. One is this sweet card with frogs you see uh, from Zender family from Iowa, and they're asking for. Uh, frog feeding time and also cat feeding time, the Pezzotera Metallica. Uh, I will do in the future, kind of soon, I will do a frog video. I plan to do that. And the, the next thing, uh, this envelope is actually from Croatia. So let's see what a fellow Croat sent to me. We got some Celadonia fan art and also this. <laughs> I guess it's some sort of candy. And 
Well, let me see from who this is. Oh, I actually got a care sheet for this uh, Chocolateus Spideri. <laughs> this is a chocolate, so yeah, I got a care sheet for it. And the letter. <laughs> okay, this what is falling from the from the envelope. You see, I was looking at it like, what the hell is this? I thought that it is uh, a sugar or something, but this is actually sand as the guy that sent me this he said that he added sand uh, in the envelope for texture as i always refer to when i'm adding sand in the enclosures you know for the texture you funny guy huh you funny guy woof woof wall of text okay give me a sec it actually took me i think 10 or 15 minutes to go through entire letter uh, this is actually not from a guy it is from a girl matea and i just always assume that i get uh, letters and uh, boxes from guys because like 80 percent of the people watching this channel are guys and only 20 percent girls so uh yeah matea thank you for a really extensive letter i'm going to answer your questions i will send you an email with all the answers that you asked me so uh thank you for the letter and for the fan art and for the chocolate spider and also for being such a uh, great fan of the dark den uh, so uh for the rest of you thank you for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more that's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe upload every monday and friday so see you again soon bye